And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Hello everybody, Mr. Juve is here, and as everybody runs into your, should be running into your face right now, I'm going to walk out and show you a brand new skin I made. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to match my new profile picture. It's supposed to. But all thumbnails will be the same, including the server ones. Unfortunately, because I'm I'm lazy. I, I don't want to change them. I don't. I really don't. But today, guys, we are going. Wait, where am I going? <laughs> Hold on, I, I can't see anything like this. So much better. So we are going to uh, I think it was Money Wars. Be the last person standing. Farm generate. Protect your bed. Okay. So today, guys, we are playing Money Wars. It's Money Wars, it's Bed Wars, just with a different name. No! Ah. Huh. So anyways, I like the parkour in this. It's fun. It keeps you active and thinking. Well, I could, I almost make it. But anyways, guys, we are going to be playing Bed Wars today for today's server adventure. It's going to be one match. Hopefully. Hopefully one match. Because I figured out how to play after a while. All right. Where's our generator? That's gold generator. And oh, does that mean up? Oh, our iron generator's in there. Hmm. Okay, item shop. Not yellow team, right? Okay. I was worried we were yellow team. All right. So the first defenses are put in place, and I'm going to collect this iron and get the next defenses. Next defenses is literally just to wall off this island. Keep as much safe as possible. I really don't want to lose this. Well, actually, I could care less about losing it. I I just want to I just want to see how far we can get. Do, do, 
Man, I gotta get tools. So I remember um, when Psycho Chicken was on, um, we actually did really, really well, but we eventually, we still lost. <laughs> so we eliminated Green Team. We, um, I think one of my partners eliminated Yellow Team. It, it was really, really fun. So, uh, it's actually pretty hard to maintain until I built a fortification around it. So I was like, this is the way to play. All I got to do is keep collecting all that iron and add the next few layers. Don't want people getting inside the base, period. So, what I'm going to do now is you didn't even replace this with the proper materials. So I'm also going to have to build him a way out. Okay.
Alright, I think that should be enough to level up a generator. putting that up because it seems fun to do that because I'm a defensive person I'm also a builder All damage not a thing in this? I guess not. Alright. So, of course, I'm just building up the last thing we need an archer tower. What does a bow take in this game? Four diamonds? Eight arrows. I think we can get the diamonds. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build this while he's out doing stuff. I think my mom's home.
Did we just defend our base? We did. God, this is awesome. Heading out to see if I can get diamonds from a nearby diamond generator. No, they didn't fix theirs. I really wish you would stop spending those diamonds on worthless stuff. Oh my god! Oh my god! We were so close. We were s Okay, so I'm gonna have to watch the match to see how this plays out now. So this was our island. Yep. Fortifications do hold out, but they don't they don't last forever if they're unmonitored. So the second you leave your base, pretty much vulnerable. Very vulnerable. Cause it's supposed to support whoever's left inside it. I was gonna spend spend it on our diamond generator. Like the diamonds I got, I was gonna spend it on our diamond generator so that we wouldn't have to leave the base for diamonds. But it would have been a lot easier if a certain somebody had listened to me. Well, not listened, well, had sensibly. I've worked sensibly. If what everybody wants in this is to destroy the other person, but they don't first see the importance of defending their own home. I understand you have to run out and get the diamonds, but to constantly run out and get diamonds rather than to Go back to your base and activate your diamond generator with the ones you found. Alright, so let's follow who's whoever this MPP is. Whoa. Okay. Oh. So, smart move. This person realizes that she can't take them, she can't really take them on. Not alone. But she can serve as a perfect distraction. For this guy, but... These guys have fo mainly focused on offense rather than defense. So they only use cheap materials to defend their bed. If we had the diamond generator, I probably would have would have had a better time defending. But uh Yeah, that's happened. 
Are they adding another layer? I think they are. Or they might just be extending the platform. Nope, they're adding another layer. This is, this is smart. This is offensive and defensive at the same time. Offensive as in you, the players can exit the island with ease. And all they have to do to re-enter is build up and break the, and break the blocks below them. So like they build up from here and up here. And then they look over the edge and destroy the blocks. And so once they're there, they can totally annihilate. They can still totally annihilate everybody that tries to um, attack, but only from this side. Now, if it was from this side or this side, they could. They would have been completely decimated. But because they went on the offensive first and took out their neighbors, they didn't really have much to worry about. And now they can use their enemies' islands as an add-on to their defense. Like as you were just seeing like a second ago, um, that dude shot an arrow over here, utilizing this island as an archer tower. And now seeing it, this guy's, these guys had the better plan. I think they might be like in a party chat or something. Uh, I should have done this with Spawn That would have been so much more fun. Whose island was this? They just throw their own bed or something? Where's I think these are these guys are the last players. That should be a little push of motivation. I, can still, I may be spectating, but I can still change the course of the game. Ignoring the diamonds, going straight for battle. Ooh, that's the greatest weakness of this one, archery. Well, that's one of the greatest weaknesses. If they were actually able to build this design all around their area, that would be their only weakness. Well, one out of two. Their other weakness could be the element of surprise. So if you're crouching, the enemy wouldn't know that you're there, and right right outside the wall, you could build, in, while you're crouching, you can build up, get inside, and attack once you need to. Really, I, the fact that my team went on the defensive and not the offense, well, actually, I was the only one on my team that went on the defensive. We were both offensive and defensive, but I put most of our earnings into this defense rather than expanding that defense out as, wa as walls to keep out intruders, which would have totally worked would have made getting back in an impossible impossibility and I'm over here looking at this and I can see 
the flaw in my design. Simple parkour. All it took to take down us. If I kept building it up, you probably wouldn't have that problem. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get notified for when more videos like this come out. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Okay, wake up in the morning to the clear blue sky. Turn up the music when I hop in the ride. The windows down, let the whole world see. Can't nobody rock it like little old me. I'm the bomb and about to blow up. I'm the bomb and about to blow up. I got my trucks and my dickies and I put it on black. Banging Sinatra in a flat Cadillac.